Right. All right, I want to start it off with a little fact. Did you know that obesity affects one in six children in the United States? Did you also know that um, <clears throat> uh, all states have obesity rates over 20% when just over two decades ago? Not one state had an uh, obesity rate over 15%. Hi, my name is Sean Murphy, and today I'll be talking about how physical exercise impacts adolescent health. <clears throat> all my life I've been physically active, whether it being in sports or in the gym. I only did it for fun, though. <clears throat> for the past four months, I've been a member at Concord's Plan of Fitness, and I've been weightlifting and running three days a week. Each day I went, I would alternate what muscle groups I did. I worked on, I, uh, <clears throat> I targeted my upper body, my lower body, and my, oh. Oh, the clip. I gotta restart. <laughs> All right, take number two. <clears throat> All right, I want to start it off with another fact, or the same fact. <laughs> Did you know that obesity affects one in six children in the United States? Did you also know that <clears throat> all states have obesity rates over 20% when just over two decades ago, not one state had an obesity rate over 15%? Hi, my name is Sean Murphy, and today I'll be showing you how physical exercise impacts adolescent health. <clears throat> all my life I've been physically active, whether it being in sports or in the gym, but I only did it for fun, though. For the past four months, I've been uh, for the past four months I've been a member at Concord's Plan of Fitness. I've been weightlifting and running three days a week. Each day I went, I would alternate what muscle group I worked on. I targeted three main muscle groups. It was I targeted my upper body, my lower body, and my core. Before this project, I had never logged my hours for a workout program and seen the results by measurement. So seeing my results was very interesting. As well as working out, I researched how physical exercise does impact adolescent health. I found some interesting information on my topic. <clears throat> One thing I found out while researching my topic was that there's a set amount of time adolescents are supposed to get each day. That set amount of time is 60 minutes a day. But less than one quarter of adolescents um, participate in 60 minutes of physical activity every day. That means more than three quarters of adolescents are lacking to participate in at least 60 minutes of exercise a day. <clears throat> I faced multiple challenges during this project. The hardest one being uh, working out while playing football. Football was five or six days a week each practice going up to two to three hours. Going to Planet Fitness after a three hour practice was not easy, it wasn't fun, but I did it. I stayed strong and completed the football season while still working out three days a week. This showed me that this project was getting, uh, building me better self-discipline. <clears throat> I wanted to go out with friends some of these nights, but completed my workout instead. I noticed that not a lot of people were ever there when I was, and it made me confused, so I asked the manager, Jen, who was the manager at Concord's Planet Fitness, who had been helping me out, how many members they had at this gym. She told me they had two to three thousand members. Now, just like you, I had no idea how many members go to the gym. But after doing research, I found out that every uh, Planet Fitness has 7,500 members around there. Knowing these facts, it, uh, uh, yeah. So, working out is known to be a stress relief to a lot of people, and it can help sharpen <clears throat> your memory, improve your brain performance, and prevent signs of aging. So, why spend all that money to look uh, younger when you can just buy a uh, gym membership for 10 bucks a month and just do it done. I have another fact here. Uh, this is a percentage and it's uh, the percentage means the percentage of people who stop going to the gym by the end of February and that's 80%. So you start a New Year's resolution, you start going January, you go January 1st, you keep going until the 15th to the 30th, but then 80% of people who started that stop by February. <coughs> This is another couple of facts I have. Uh, the top left is a map of percentage rates, of how many people work out in each state. It's really hard to read on that, but New Hampshire has, uh, has around 29.6% of people who work out in each state. And then on the bottom right, that is a poll taken from adolescent information from school, and that basically just says uh, what adolescents do for physical activity. I'm gonna leave you guys off on a little fact that I made up. <clears throat> it's 0% uh, of people who work out are obese. That's not a fact, that's a promise. Any questions? What is your max bench? <laughs> um, that is, um, okay, yeah. No. <laughs> Any other questions?